From VOA Learning English, this is the Technology Report. Can you imagine riding around the streets of your hometown on a skateboard without wheels? In the late 1980s, film director Robert Zemeckis showed a skateboard floating above the ground in his movie Back to the Future Part Two. Now, an American company, ArtsPax, has taken the idea for such a device from a futuristic dream to reality. The new product operates on the same rules that govern magnetism. When similarly charged ends of two magnets get close together, they repel or push away from each other. That force can make an object rise or levitate. Levitation has been used on trains in Europe, Japan, and China since the 1980s. These so-called maglev trains float or hover just above the ground. There is no contact between the bottom of the cars and the surface of the train track. Maglev trains are almost noiseless and can move very fast. Greg Henderson says the same technology can make anything hover, even buildings. His company created the first maglev hoverboard called Hindo. It can hold a single person about 2.5 centimeters above a metal surface. Batteries provide the electricity needed to power Hindo's four engines. However, the batteries only last for a short time. The creators of Hindo say they do not expect to see their hoverboard on the streets anytime soon. Why? It only works on a metal covered surface. But they say larger hover engines could be used to transport containers in storerooms. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.